Hi, and uh, welcome to another edition of The Travel Geek. Tomorrow I'm headed out to Macau, so I wanted to uh, talk about what kind of gear uh, I'm going to be bringing with me. So, here we go. Uh, some of it is for the blog, and some of it's obviously for the stills that I'm going to produce. Uh, so, for the stills, I've got my D300. Um, I'm sorry, that's a D700. <laughs> 300's a bit older. This one is... Um, has been with me throughout basically all the travels throughout Southeast Asia. It's a very reliable camera. On it is a 24 to 70 2 8 glass. Uh, it stays 2 8 all the way out. It's, a, it's, a, it's the one I use the most. Very reliable lens. Uh, very accurate. Nice and sharp. Nice and clean. It's good glass. Uh, another lens I'm bringing with me is going to be an 80 to 200. This one has been uh, just a, a brick. It's just a tank. It's probably. Uh, one of the better lenses that I can recommend, and that's going to be obviously for your tighter end shots. Um, for the far out shots, I've actually got a, a Tamron coupler. It's a 2x coupler that obviously powers this into uh, you know a 400 millimeter lens. It stays. Uh, I think you lose one stop with that, making it a 3.5 lens. Um, and I also I'm going to bring a, a 16 mil fisheye. This is. Uh, a, a, a 2.8 lens and it's and it's nice and sharp but the reason I like bringing the the fisheye in cities is because the architecture shots make uh, so much better um, angles I think I think that they uh, have much better lead lines for composition with the fisheye in the city so that's that's as far as the rig goes um, <clears throat> the tripod that's coming with me is made by Vanguard it's called an Alta 233 it's nice and solid. It's an aluminum uh, setup, and I've got a Benzo head. Oh, I'm sorry, Benro head. It's a ball head. It's nice. It's a um, eight kilogram head. Um, the other stuff, obviously, I'm gonna, as far as identification, I'm gonna be bringing uh, two of my passports. Um, got two passports coming with me. If I need to do any driving, I've got my international driver's license. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to bring my press credentials. Uh, let's see, what else? A bandana is always a good idea. A bandana will keep sweat from, uh, you know, getting into the back of the camera and things like that. So, uh, <clears throat> got a <clears throat> microfiber. Uh, this will actually hold a, a, a large lens in it, but I use it to clean the glass and things. It does a really good job of that. Um, as far as the batteries go, I always carry at least three new-ish uh, batteries for the, the Nikon. And uh, the, way I, the way I generally uh, keep these, the way I figure out if they're charged or not, is I, I put a little dot on the battery itself. And then when I have the battery cover on there, I can just move this this way or this way. And it'll tell me whether or not it's the battery's full. So that's a good way to keep those organized in your bag if they're just floating around. These little universal chargers are great. Uh, this one is actually for the Canon battery for my DV camera, but uh, the Nikon looks the same. It's basically the same unit. It's just a little uh, slide-in manifold here that changes that. Uh, so this is nice, nice and easy. It's uh, 110 to 240 volts, so it works pretty much everywhere in the world. Uh, several extra batteries for the DV camera. The DV camera is right here. This is a, a Canon ABC HD model. It does a great job, and this is this is the um, kind of like the cheap guys version of, of documentary filmmaking equipment. It's it does a great job. You know, even even the more expensive units uh, will put out similar quality. So, um, seeing as I'm going to Macau, obviously I'm going to need uh, the the plug adapter for that. Generally what I like to do is I bring, I bring one plug adapter and then I have a power strip with four extra plugs in it. So if, if I'm in like a hotel room that's only got one plug, not only do I have the adapter to plug into the wall, but I also have you know four plugs to charge more batteries at one time and things like that. One of the things that's really useful is a calculator that flips open and you can write down all of the conversion rates for the different currencies that you're going to be running into. So um, obviously Macau is very close to Hong Kong, going to be seeing a lot of Hong Kong money. There's a lot of casinos and you know the financial district there is, is um, kind of like the hub of 
Eastern civilization, basically. So that's a good thing to have. A lens cleaner. Uh, lens pens are good because they uh, do what the microfibers can't and, and right on the spot, too. These are nice and light. Pick one up for just a couple of bucks. Um, let's see. The uh, ever-present duct tape is, a, is definitely a requirement. As far as what's going in for the video, we have uh, the dead cat mic. The, uh, the shotgun mic that mounts on top of the camera there with the wind guard. Um, I generally keep just a few extra wires in here. My little crown royal bag. Uh, any kind of extra batteries for the mic. Um, any kind of uh, eye protecting items for the camera. Uh, extra cards, things like that go in here. I've also got a small screwdriver and uh, the, the, the miniature screwdriver is great just in case like you ever need to tighten down any of the little screws that uh, shake loose during your time traveling which happens quite often. I've got a dust rocket. One of the things that I I love bringing along for night shots is uh, the the metered timer here. You can you can you can do everything from uh, hands-off shooting to um, you know, time-lapse photography with these things. They're, they're really great tools to have along. I also have a spirit leveler. This sits right in the hot shoe of the camera and tells you whether or not you have a true horizon there. These are these are definitely a good idea. I've got a remote for the camera itself for, for self-shooting. I've got extra cards. I've got two um, 8 gig cards for the Nikon and a couple of 16 gig cards for the DV. I also have a 320 gig hard drive just to back up the photos while I'm on the while I'm on the trail there. Uh, this waterproof box is definitely uh, recommended as well. And last but not least, I have a Tamrac bag um, that's really good. It has the, the back flap pockets. Uh, I can fit the the 80 to 200 mil lens right down the bottom. I fit the 16 mil fisheye plus the 2x coupler right here. The body with the 24 to 70 lens fits right in here. And I even have a space for an extra terabyte hard drive or something in here. The top pocket fits everything that you see here. And I do mean everything. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't look like a whole lot of space, but it really, really picks up um, space. I don't, know, I don't know where it gets. At any rate, uh, the other thing I like to keep with me is a, is a neutral density filter. This is always in my bag. You never know when you're going to uh, be able to use, uh, make use of one of these. And, and this is a neutral density four power. So, uh, also a good idea to have extra lens caps too. So, uh, but that's it. Uh, I'll be shoot. Oh, and I've got a I've got a pocket wizard too, uh, for wireless shooting. It's it's a good idea to keep one of those around. So at any rate, um, that's my gear. I'm going to be putting some uh, some vlogs out as well while I'm out in, in Macau. So hopefully. Um, uh, you guys can stop by and check it out. That's kyleodonnell.wordpress.com or kyleodonnell.com slash travelgeek. Thanks a lot. See you on the road.